Hey folks, Engineer 775 here. A little sneak peek before RE Plus 2025 in Las Vegas. Unfortunately, I can't attend. Most awesome solar show there is. Um, so I am just putting out a little video announcing that now. And I also wanted to share with you Solark's latest, greatest hybrid residential inverter. This is the Solark 18K uh, 2P LV for low voltage. <clears throat> so I've been running this for a couple of months. And it will be debuted on the floor at RE+. Plus. And so you'll be able to put your hands on it, check it out, see how it compares to previous products, see how it compares to products that it will be competing with it at the show. So, um, so I'm pretty excited to share with you. Um, again, I am a beta tester, been technically a beta. I don't have an official title. I'm going to call myself a beta tester for Solark. Uh, I've been using the products for a long time, over 10 years. And uh, this is just the latest, greatest um, inverter in the long story since the 3Ks all the way up to now the 18K. And I'm going to take you out to my power shed and show it to you, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, uh, major improvements, the unbelievable capacity, talk to you about some scenarios on whether or not you need any micro grid interconnection devices, MIDs, as they're popular, popularly called today. And um, so, again, my goal has been to simplify whole home backup, and this is just another product from Solark that allows me to simplify and just run the whole home. No need for critical loads, no need for mids, no need for, you'll see why. Um, <laughs> I can put so much solar on this baby, 28,000 DC coupled, 19,000 AC coupled with it. So we're talking 48,000 watts of solar I can put on this one machine. So I'm going to take you out and show it to you. I'm also going to show you some cool things, um, a sneak peek of a product I've hooked up to this, controlling that product from the mod bus of this inverter. And that's a lot of fun. And um, so I'm going to take you down to the powerhouse. The powerhouse has been my lab here at headquarters for practical preppers and engineers 775 for years. And again, I want to try to get across the point of how um, when you have multiple structures, buildings, homes, shops, garages, businesses, and you want to run those, it's nice to do it from a centralized powerhouse or a, or even an outdoor installation now that the products are all NEMA 4X and NEMA 3R. So you can do the outdoor installations. You can also do a simple building that keeps your batteries and inverters uh, climate controlled away from your home or your business and you just feed everything however you'd want to. So let me take you out and show you the new 18K Solark. Okay, we're going to take a walk into the power shed. Again, the power shed is what I use to power everything. I power our home, power our office, power our little warehouse. I also sub feed 800 feet down to a well house. So there's a lot of things and a lot of usage. We would consume about $700 worth of electricity. Our bill is minimal. We are tied to the grid and it's usually 30 to $60 a month. And uh, I really work on that transformer a lot. <laughs> Solar's out there. Anyway, just before we go in, this is, you know, a building that you've seen before. I use it a lot to experiment with all sorts of things from batteries to inverters. I kind of want to tell you just a brief history before we get to the 18K. So started out in here with a 12K, single inverter, running as much as I could run with it, which was limited. And so I quickly added, bought another 12K, paralleled those, and then I had 75 amps. I could really get some stuff done. At the same time, well, a couple years later, we've got the beta 15K, so that's about four years ago, put that in and then that has been flawless. Um, and then I put in another 15K to parallel. These aren't on right now, turned them off to uh, make way for the new. So each 15K outputs just to say 50 amps. So this would give me hundred amps. This gave me 75 amps. And now, of course, the revolutionary part of Solarch's design was the 200 amp pass through which allowed me to do a lot of, of things. So the 15K, I, I mean, the 18K is here. And so 
It looks very similar. It's really hard to tell the difference at first glance between it and a uh, 15K. Um, but when I open it up, you'll see the, the difference. I am running, just so you know, off of two Discover um, batteries. These are the Helios batteries, 32 kilowatt hours of storage. I'm using the Link to Gateway from Discover. And so I'll just open this up and show you some of the things that you're gonna say, well, there's no difference. And it looks pretty much the same as a 15K. You have your 200 amp pass-through, you've got your load out, you got gen or AC coupled. I am AC coupling right now. Um, three MPPTs and battery breakers and 350 amps capable. You'll see the knockouts are much bigger, two inch knockouts versus the inch and a half. And uh, we are closed loop communicating with these batteries and it's something else, which I'll show you. So the 15K, it is, as you'll, <laughs> it's working right now, but it is quiet as a mouse. And when it, when the fans come on, they're quieter for whatever reason, different heat sinks, I was told, uh, different fans, quieter than the 15K. So exceptional quality there when it comes to noise. So I've been running my whole place off of this one inverter. Now, could I run everything all at once? No, I couldn't, not with this, not with a $700 a, a month bill. Um, there are times when I use 25,000 watts, I'm running EV chargers, and I'm using a lot. But with the grid connected with pastor, I have no problem doing that. Off-grid, it is a true 18,000 watt inverter off of batteries alone. It's a 75 amp machine, like I was saying, 50 amps, 75 amps, 37 and a half amps. So you see the, the, the leapfrog, the, the steps that they have made in um, creating another awesome machine. Did it come on? I think the fan just started to come on. Super, super quiet. And it's what I like about it. So what don't I like about it? Well, I was hoping that they were going to give me four MPPTs, solar inputs. But they did not. They stayed with the three. I guess going to four was going to cost so much more. And before I forget to tell you, this inverter is going to be around $7,300 MSRP from what I've been told. That might change after the show. I'm not, not sure. So, But the capability of this machine, I know there's been you know, this move to take features out of an inverter, move them to another device that's attached to your home. But what happens if your home... What if you want to load shave loads in that building and in that home 150 feet away and this one 70 feet away and that one 100 feet away and you have to put a mid on each building to load shave those? Seemingly you would. And um, so what I have found to simplify and not have anything solar related in terms of switch gear um, on, a, on a building to not have to do... Uh, anything but regular electrical equipment and then build your solar system in a place where you can maintain it, keep it cool, uh, keep it warm, whatever you need to do to climate control the facility that it's in. Doesn't matter the battery. Again, best solar, still battery agnostic. I love the Discover. It's working great with um, the Solark. So it is a good product. And the Link Gateway allows me some other capabilities like load shedding if I want to. So again, what am I saying? I've got the 200 amp pass through. I can also hook a generator to the grid input, saving my uh, generator input for doing all sorts of things. I use that a lot. I think a lot of people overlook the capability of this gen port, they, either in AC coupling or in smart load capability, you know, running a separate panel off of that, off of that block I could run a 200 amp panel with all sorts of smart load, diversion load control. I do that a lot for heating water, running EV chargers, and the like. What I don't like is even though they give me the ability to put 28,800 watts of solar on this machine, I only have three MPPs to do it. And with the current panels that I use, uh, that I find, I have a hard time doing that unless I go to three strings. And as you, if you know anything about stringing and NEC 690.9, you 
you cannot put three strings on an MPPT together unless they are protected individually with overcurrent protection, mainly inline MC4 fuses. It's easy to do, just don't forget to do it. Each one of these MPPTs can handle 36 amps. So a lot of throughput of DC coupled solar. AC coupled solar, I could bring, like I'm bringing now microinverters in, I could bring 19,200 of AC coupled power in. I could do it here, I could do it, I can do it on the grid, I can do it on the load side, and I can do it on the gym. So it gives me three ways to AC couple. I love AC coupling. I could couple that machine to this machine. So if you have an old system, maybe you have a single 12K and you don't want to de you don't want to leave it alone. It's it's working great. You can AC couple that to the new machine, which gives you more battery capability, more solar capability, more pass-through power capability. A lot of cool tricks that you can do inverter to inverter. Okay. So you can see it's just cooking away. We have a cloudy day here, but I'm I'm selling back. I'm bringing in around 10,000 watts now. Um, so it works with the same app. Yes, there's problems, in, but they, they're improving them. And so you heard the fan for a little bit. It's back off. It's not even, it's not, it is not loud at all. So I'm trying to not make a horrible, shaky video here. So same features, same Wi-Fi dongle, on-off switch. I mean, you really couldn't tell the difference between these two inverters at first glance. It's a little bit taller, and it is got, got bigger knockouts on the bottom. So, so there, about $7,300 for the Solark 18K. It is just like butter. It's rotting my whole place. You can see I've got this stuff shut down. The 12Ks behind me are shut down. And I'm just running everything on one machine. So I still like the, the ease of installation. One machine, one battery bank, one solar array to run the world. Run everything. And split off to multiple buildings and panels. And therefore, I don't have the problem of, if there, is there any failure? I don't need to have this inverter talk to a mid or any other device to run the run the place. I just find it simpler and safer at this time. I can put 12 of those, if I wanna go crazy, I can put 12 of those in parallel, uh, like you could do 12, 15Ks, I can do 12, 18Ks as well. What else can I tell you about it? Um, again, go to the Solark booth next week and you'll see it. I don't know what kind of demos they'll have, but they'll have a lot more up-to-date information than I have. Again, been running it for two months, the main issue, I guess, is I wish it had four MPPTs. Um, the other issue that we ran into, the reporting on the AC coupling is about 50%. They got a, that's just a firmware update to change the math. Um, so what's actually coming in when I amp clamp it is twice what the inverter's reporting to the app and to the screen. Um, but other than that, it, it installs the same. So if you're used to Solarx, obviously it's going to be a no-brainer. Um, tremendous battery, 350 amps on the battery, AC output is crazy, and if this was named by its DC output, I could put, <laughs> I think, I could put 48,000 watts of solar on this one 18K. So, I hope that gave you some idea of the capability of the machine, what it can do, and... Let me know what questions you have. It is just um, powerful, powerfully silent. So now for my teaser, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something. I am charging these batteries on hydrogen, um, so it's another input, and I'm controlling that. And I will be putting out a video on it by the Modbus uh, through the Modbus connection and this splitter that goes out to the link. It also goes to something cool. And I'm just gonna show you a sneak preview of that. I gotta do a video. And pardon, you've got from 1970s technology up to 2025, latest, greatest. So this guy is a hydrogen fuel cell and I am using propane and I'm charging my batteries when I need to silently. I don't have to start my Cummins generator I can run it off of propane or natural gas, just like I can this, but nobody hears that. 
and I am charging the batteries off of that. So stay tuned for videos and explanations on Upstart Power's fuel cell and all the cool things that are coming out. And maybe they'll be. There is always a hydrogen section at the show. Check out, see if they're there. I'm not sure if they're going to be there or not. But anyway, that's being controlled. That can either be two wires started by the Solark. It can be controlled by the gate relay. It can be controlled SOC. All different ways to control it. All different scenarios I'll take you through. And so that was from wood gas with hydrogen and carbon monoxide to hydrogen that is stripped is going through. I think it's a rhodium catalyst taking the propane, stripping out the hydrogen and uh, producing a... Uh, a battery voltage around 50 volts to charge my battery. It will match the battery. So cool stuff. All right, folks, this is Engineer 775 signing out from the...